Hello, Aries. So last reading I did, I was getting that you were meant to have love and money and abundance and all the things you've been trying to manifest years ago. Um, and it's it's finally here. It's either just come in or it's it's coming in for you this year, finally. And you might be experiencing love at first sight with someone. A lot of you have new love coming in here. Um, but there was a probably some kind of karmic cycle that kept you trapped. Some some sort of karmic cycle lasted longer than it was meant to last. It could be a, a toxic relationship that maybe dragged on and kept you from your real true love. And now that karmic cycle has either just completed or it's currently completing. And so you have the the space in your life for this new love to come in now. It's something of that sort. Some sort of a karmic cycle that just... It's like you were meant to learn a certain lesson. You were meant to take something from those connections. Like let's say you always get dragged into third-party situations or you always get dragged into these toxic relationships or you always, you know, maybe, maybe for some of you the lesson was that you can't save everyone, that, you know, you have to kind of give people freedom to go down their own path. Um, I think there was a lot of hard lessons, a lot of a lot of hard lessons. For some of you, it, it you know, it was hard for you to, to embrace what what that was but I think most of you have you're either in the process of embracing it or you have embraced it so it's like maybe like a karmic situation like you know like maybe like like I said like a third party like maybe there was a connection that was meant to only last you know six months or so like you were meant to kind of learn and see that that doesn't that energy doesn't work for you and you're vibrating higher now you're ascending and you're coming out of that energy so it's not resonating with you the way it did in the past but you know, maybe like it was only meant to last six months, but it's like it dragged on for, for years because it's like you couldn't let go. So you were in this vicious karmic cycle. Maybe the other person was kind of keeping you trapped and tied to them too. But I feel like a lot of you have just cut the cords or you're like about to, like you're thinking about it. Like, you know, I think it's time to do cut and clear work. Um, but whatever it is, it's like that one little thing. And it might not be a person. For some of you, it could totally be a situation like a certain way of thinking maybe like negative thought patterns um it, it could just be just something that kept repeating some kind of stagnant or toxic energy that kept repeating but it, it's like you're finally freeing yourself of that um this year and so you know now that one little thing whatever it was it was just that one thing that was keeping you it, it's like you, you tried to, just to reiterate for those that are new, and then I'm going to get into the, the new, when it, whatever new updates we have here. But I did, I go, I went into that a lot for the, in the last reading, but it, it's like you were trying to manifest love and money and abundance for so long. And you're like, where is it? Where is it? Like, cause you're putting all the energy and you know that you're powerful. Like you, this group, you guys know that you're powerful, but it's like, you got kind of maybe, uh, confused, upset because you would put these intentions in and it would barely manifest or it just wouldn't manifest. And it's like all those intentions, all that energy to have the life you deserve is still there. And it's going to come flooding in. It's almost like I see like a, just like a block, like just this one little block, but it's like all that, that good energy, all that intention is still there. So once you remove that block, it's like it all comes pouring in this year. And that's what you've either just removed the block or you're in the process of removing it. So it's, it's good energy. You, you know, it's like just that one little thing is finally removed. So you finally can have the life that you deserve. So it's, it's like, it's not like the, the energy put into having the life you deserve just went away. It's not like it just didn't work. It's like it was stored somewhere. I, I see like a little bubble of like all your good intentions over the years being stored somewhere. But it's like there was something that just kept it from manifesting physically. But now that's, yeah, now it's been removed. So you're good. you got a lot of good energy coming in this year. In all areas, money, love, abundance. So let's see what's going on. Sense of belonging, home, safe space. Third party distraction, karmic partner. Domination, control. Trapped, blocked, tied up. Clubs, parties, social life. Hesitation, mixed feelings. Yeah, so you're going to have... 
I think that you have freed yourself or you're freeing yourself from some kind of like third party situation or just some kind of controlling or dominant or toxic situation that you were in. It felt like home to you at one point, but you're in a higher vibration now. Like you're leveling up. Sorry, let me adjust this for you guys. But you're in a higher vibration now, like you're leveling up. So it's not resonating with you the way it did before. And I think you took the blindfold off and realized it was trapping you. You know, this could have been something that like you tried to like, maybe like, uh, like partying or something. Like you try to escape the pain, like, and this person was hesitant. It could be someone you knew at a club and they're going to come forward and apologize you're gonna get that justice you're gonna get that apology from them sooner or later but honestly when this person comes in I don't think you're gonna want it because you're ascending more and more every day some of you are actually probably like overwhelmed by how quickly you're ascending and how how much your third eye or you're about to come into this energy and you can kind of feel it like you you know this year is is means some big things for you um so where else are we at now so that was just a confirmation for a few of you that I think you are going to have your justice. I think some of you like chase this person so much that you just want to be able to be the one to tell them no for a change. You just want to know, like you want that closure. And it looks like a lot of you are getting that closure. You are getting that apology. But like I said, when it comes in, I don't I think you're going to be over it by that point because you're already outgrowing this person and you're going to continue to outgrow this person because the divine has something better in store for you and you're going to look back because you wanted that so much at one point like at one point you felt like that was your person that was your true love your home possibly thought it was your twin flame but it might turn out that it was actually your false twin but you're going to go back you're going to look back and you're going to be like oh my gosh I'm so thankful that I did not end up with that person like you're going to end up with someone else and you're going to be like oh my god I'm so happy that I freed myself from that I'm I'm so happy that the divine had something better in store for me Codependency, addiction, sense of belonging, home, safe space. Listening, understanding, new perspective. Loyalty, stability, vows. Adventure, honeymoon, vacation. Courage, assertiveness, forward movement. Sadness, waiting, hoping, praying. Hmm. Yes, some of these people are like actually codependent and addicted to you. I think this is just reiterating the first reading. I don't know why they find it so relevant because I want to try to get into the new energy because a lot of you have new love coming in, but I don't know for some reason maybe the old person is relevant maybe some of you have see I think most of the areas have done the cut and clear work but maybe there's some of you that need to hear this because it's time to like cut and clear so you can have this new energy um but yeah I feel it feels like someone and and you know it each this is the same Aries energy group but I'm sure like maybe there's some of you that really do have another ex coming back around let me ask my pendulum that maybe this is a different ex Honestly, you put so much energy into love and like you're wondering why it didn't manifest and where it was. And all that energy is going to come rushing in so quickly that you might have multiple people coming at you. I think that's why I'm like, what the hell is going on here? Because you might have like, I mean, that's kind of how like, you know, like love, like reconciliation, love drawing. Like it's, it's like you might have like the new person, you might have the toxic ex apologizing, you might... You might have um, maybe a healthy ex that things just had to end for, for whatever reason, but now they're coming back around too. Like you're going to have choices. And I think it's going to shock a lot of you guys because I think a lot of you are like single right now and you're like, oh yeah, maybe, you sure, maybe. I, like you don't fully believe it, but then it's like the next month you've got like three different people in your inbox and you're just like, what the hell? <laughs> Like you like wake up, like you have like a dream about your ex and you wake up and they're like in your inbox. You're just like, what the fuck's going on? <laughs> is this a different ex? Okay, this is actually a different ex. So this is an ex that 
feels at home with you. I think they, I don't think they're as toxic as the first one that I was getting, but I feel like they took you for granted. And I'm looking into the new person after this. I swear, I don't care what, <laughs> I don't, I'm, I'm, I have to look into the new person after this. I don't want to get this energy. Um, but, but yeah, it's, it's kind of like this person is like codependent with you now and they're in this new perspective. Like they're listening and understanding and they're thinking about the past and maybe what they did wrong. Like maybe they kind of blamed you in the past or they ghosted you or ran. Um, this is like the lesser of two evils though. Like this person still isn't like, I don't feel like this person's healthy for you. Maybe, I mean, you would know who this person is. And it could be someone that looks like this or this, too. Or like this. But I feel like they have, like, a new perspective. And I feel like they've kind of worked on themselves. So they want to come in and offer, like, loyalty, stability. Um, they want to... I'm just looking at this energy. Sorry. <laughs> like, give me a sec. <laughs> and if you want a private reading, if this is resonating, just send me an email. Um, my email is listed below. It's dragonenchantress at AOL.com. Um, and yeah, I do private reading so I can go more in depth into the old person, the new person, whatever you want to know, really. So, so yeah. And any donations are appreciated, even just a dollar. It really adds up quickly. My PayPal and Cash App is also below. So anyway, so this, this person isn't as toxic as the first person I pulled on. This person does seem like they've worked on themselves, like they have a new perspective um, like they're, they're more patient. They're, they're less likely to run now. Um, they, they want to offer you this like loyalty, stability, you know, making promises to you, uh, you know, having, but I think, honestly, I think this is you. I think this is you like going like on an adventure or like just having fun, like living, you know, we have adventure, honeymoon, vacation, like living your life, meeting a new person, um, you've got courage, assertiveness, motivation, forward movement. So it's kind of like you're, you're, stronger than the loneliness now you're more confident you're more healthy you're more um independent you're more um you're ascending at a rapid rate so if this person didn't treat you right it's like you don't resonate with that energy anymore you have you yes they have a new perspective where they're like oh wow i should have done right by you but you also have a new perspective where you're like oh wow i didn't deserve that i don't want to deal with that again and so I think you're, you're taking this courage and assertiveness to, to go forward towards the life that you want, because even if it hasn't physically manifested fully yet, like you can feel it, like, you know, it's here, you know, it's happening for you now, finally, like you're channeling or you're having dreams. Like you just, you know, that this love, this money, this abundance that you want is here. So I feel like this person's going to be left sad, you know, waiting, hoping, praying that you come back. But honestly, I don't. I don't think you're going to want it. I think that you both have new perspectives. So I think the cards are just kind of letting you know that you're going to have justice. Like there's a couple people in your past that wronged you that like ghosted you or cheated on you or were toxic or they just, you had to chase them and they just kind of were doing their own thing. And it's like, now they're going to realize because you're leveling up so quickly and you're having all this abundance coming in and like, you're, you're going to be at like this, this year is going to be like the prime of your life. I honestly feel. And you know if this is your story, if this is resonating. But I think the divine is just letting you know that, like, you do have justice coming in. Because I think some of you did not have closure in those situations. You're like, why did they ghost me? Like, why didn't they want me? Why did I have to chase them? Why did they say this? Why did they do this? And it's like, you're going to have that clarity, I think. Um, but, but again, you're not going to want it because you're at a whole new level. You've outgrown these people and you're going to continue to outgrow them. So by the time they do finally come around, it's like you either don't want them now or you're like in the process of like not wanting them. So it's, you're going to get to that point where you're just like, hey, I'm good. Like, no, thanks. And that's beautiful. It's really beautiful. Like it's scary sometimes. Cause it's like, you're almost like in limbo where you're like, oh my God, I don't like I'm not attracted to my exes anymore. I'm not resonating with that energy anymore. And it can be scary because you're, you're pushing, you're stepping out of your comfort zone and going forward to this new life. Um, but it's beautiful. Like, you know what this life has to offer you. It's kind of like the divine is saying, like, take my hand. Like, I know you can't see it physically yet, yet, but you know this time it's for real. Like, you know, like, you can feel it. You can feel this good energy around you. Um, even if it's, like, a little scary because you have to step out of your comfort zone. But yeah, you got the exes coming back, but again, I don't think you're going to want them. 
I think it's just mostly like justice for you and giving you closure and and, and um, certainty. X the past, sex seduction. Yeah, someone that might try to manipulate you. Okay, I'm not reading the exes anymore. I want to know about the new person. I want to know about the new people coming in. No more exes. No more exes. Go away, exes. What's going on with the new person coming in? Choosing their words wisely, planning their approach. Isolation, loneliness, emptiness, soulmate, past life contract, or past life connection, soul contract. So this is someone who's going to admire you more. Someone that's going to think you're beautiful or handsome. They're going to feel lucky to have you. They might almost think that you're out of their league. And you're going to notice that energy difference. Because, like, with your exes, it's almost like they thought they were out of your league. Or they thought, you know what I mean? Or, like, they sabotaged it out of their own fears and insecurities. Or, like, they saw the worst in you or just took you for granted. And like, so you're going to get that energy difference. There's a major energy difference when it's like, you don't have to be the one to call and text first. You don't have to be the one to chase. It's like, this person's going to be planning things out. This person's going to be wanting to plan dates. This person's going to be choosing their words wisely. Uh, this person's going to want to impress you. This person is kind of a loner type for a lot of you. Uh, I feel like, or they just feel alone. They might not be a loner. Maybe it's not by choice. Maybe they just feel alone. Um... In general, like with the people around them, like this is kind of like a deep thinker, someone who's very intelligent, but they feel like they're kind of isolated for some reason. Or they could live somewhere that's kind of isolated, like they could live like way off grid or something like that. But they just feel like it feels like they're like they're lonely. But they could like I said, they could have people around them and they could just be like one of those rare souls that just they can't connect with most people but they're going to connect with you there's probably going to be soul recognition with this connection like you know past life connection soulmate sense of belonging home safe space so it's interesting that this card came up with all with the two x's as well so it's kind of like you're going to feel at home now because this is your new definition of home. Like being, you know what I mean? Like the exes at the time felt like home to you, but they felt like home because you were in that kind of insecure, insecure mentality. You still had maybe childhood trauma or, um, you know, bad relationship patterns or whatever it might have been. And so that felt familiar to you, like being like the toxicity or the the neglect the ghosting all of that it was kind of just I mean not that you liked it or anything like that but it just it it felt familiar it felt normal to you you just kind of assume that's the way people are you know like you didn't think there was anything more for you out there you just were kind of used to that and so it kind of felt like home to you even though it was toxic it was just it's what you'd always known but now you've ascend you're ascending. See, that's the thing. That's the beautiful thing is now you're ascending. You're more confident. You're more powerful than you were be before. You're doing cut and clear work. You're ending old patterns. And so your sense of home, of being safe, of belonging has changed. Now being treated well, being treated like a queen or treated like a king is what resonates with you. You know, like the, the neglect doesn't resonate with you anymore. But being loved, being wanted, it's like before, maybe if someone loved you and you thought it was too good to be true or you pushed them away or it was smothering. But now it's like you're getting to that point where you can finally accept that kind of love because you're, you're starting to realize that you deserve it. You're starting to really cut those old patterns out. Um, so it's like your sense of home has changed. It's like this is your new sense of home is, is being treated well. That's what feels right to you now because you're coming into this energy. Um, so it's really a beautiful reading. And there's just going to be so many energy differences with this person, like just not having any red flags and not, they're not going to feel like your ex. This person might not be your usual type, but there will be the attraction there, even if they're not your usual type. And there is a past life connection so that you, one or both of you may experience soul recognition. Willpower, strength, and confidence. Yeah, because you're having the confidence to go forward towards this new life. Some of you, this person is like already like spying on you. Some of them. Let's see. I'm 
I'm covering the ex up because I'm like, you know what? No, you're not coming through. <laughs> I'm like, you're not coming through in this reading. <laughs> the ex is going to get jealous and try to come back because they're going to feel that. Some of them are feeling this energy. They're feeling that like you've like met your true love and they're jealous and that's why they're coming back. But you're going to be like, they're going to message you and be like, I'm so sorry. I messed up and ghosted you and blah, 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 blah. And you're going to be like... I'm drinking margaritas on a beach in Mexico with my true love, like, F off. Like, you're not, you know what I mean? Like, you're not going to care. You're just going to be like, uh, cool story, bro. Bye. <laughs> but, I mean, you'll have that justice. So, I mean, it's, it's good in a way, but it's, like, it's not even going to mean as much to you as you think it's going to mean to you. Like, you're probably, you're going to recognize that it was them, not you, when you get to that point. You know what I mean? I think a lot of you, when you got ghosted, you were like, like, what did I do wrong? Why did they do that? Why, you know, this, this, this. But it's like, you're going to look back and realize, like, that person just had horrible commitment issues. It wasn't, you know what I mean? Like, even if you had played hard to get, they still eventually would have freaked out when things got real and they would have left anyway. But, yeah, some of you are being spied on, possibly by an ex. This relationship is going to be, it might be challenging, but, like, in a really good way. Like, it's just going to be different. You're going to be like, like, what that? What? <laughs> this person might be kind of dominant, but like in a sexy way, like an alpha male, alpha female type way. And it's going to help you come out of stagnant energy. You've been stagnant, but you're freeing yourself. Because they're going to also, and they're going to be chasing you, I feel. They're also, I feel, going to, um, like, you're pushing yourself out of your comfort zone right now. You're like, you know what? I know what I want when it comes to, to money, to, to love, to what to career, to whatever. Like, you're even if you're going through a lot right now, I feel like you're still pushing yourself towards your goals. And this person is going to push you, too. This person is going to be in a very dominant energy and kind of push you to be, like, your best self. But they're going to love you and accept you just as you are. But they're going to want to help you reach those goals, which you know... Like, you're going to know that energy difference because your exes probably wanted to keep you down so that you stayed reliant on them. Like, they probably wanted to, like, make you feel like you weren't good enough. Or this person is going to want... They're just going to see, like, the best in you. They're going to think you're, like, a king or a queen. And they're going to want you to see that in yourself, too. So it's like, if you talk to them about wanting to start a business, they're going to be like, like, okay, let's do it. Let's, let's sit down and write a plan. Like, they're going to want to help you. You know what I mean? Or, like, they're... Um, just whatever it is, like, they're going to, like, oh, you've been wanting to work out? Okay, let's get gym memberships together. Let's go. I'm down. Let's do it. Like, they're going to, this person's going to be a go-getter, and you're already a go-getter, but maybe some of you are, have been kind of stagnant and numb, and so that person is going to bring this back out of you. Like, they're going to be like, no, let's do it. Like, let's let's go. Let's do this. You know, like, they're going to help give you that final push. You're pushing yourself, and then you're about to have someone that's going to push you too, but in a good way. Yeah, some of you still need to cut out a third party that's toxic. You know it's toxic, so if, if that's you, cut it out. Passion, romance. Yeah, the passion and romance is coming is in, in here with this connection. This is, like, this is a new perspective for both of you. This is, like, listening, understanding. Like, this is, this is a really good connection. Happiness, warmth, light. They're just going to see you as, like, an angel in their life. Um, okay, a few more cards. The sex is going to be really good. Sex, seduction, new love, faded encounter. Like, this is someone new. I don't feel like this is someone old. I feel like this is a new love for most of you. Or it would be someone that you met recently, like within the last few months. Yeah, there's someone like... Uh, God, because there's an ex that keeps coming through my readings and being like, no, I'm still here. And I'm like, uh-uh. So for some of you, please cut the X out because I don't want to like read them in my in my stories when I'm trying to focus on the new love. So if you haven't done the cut and clear spell, please do it. Um, if you like, you know, it's toxic and you know, it's done. It's like it's just because I can feel that there's, this is a different energy. Like when this is these cards are coming through and that happens sometimes when I'll do readings like private readings, like someone's ex will come through and I'll recognize it, though. I'll be like, no, this isn't the same person I'm channeling. And I'm like, when I'm looking at these cards, I'm like, that's not the same person. This is like an ex coming through being like, oh, no, it's me. And I'm like, no, it's not. Uh-uh. Like, bye, Felicia. You're already out. 
Yeah, true love, potential life partner, like this new love. I hope that doesn't confuse you guys. So like when when psychics do readings, like we channel like our Okay, so there's there's tarot readers who just read tarot and like that's all they do, but they don't really channel. They don't really have a lot of psychic ability. And then there's psychics who like are tarot and oracle readers, but they channel. Like I channel when I do the readings. So this could mean something different in each reading. These are just a tool and they're just a visual for you guys to let me, you know, to let us both know what's going on. But I'm always channeling the cards specifically. So when these two cards popped up, the hesitation, mixed feelings, the betrayal, jealousy, conflict, like I knew that this is it's not the same person. You know what I mean? This is this is a different this is an ex that's trying to come through and I'm blocking them from coming through. They're very like because they know, too, that this person feels like you're about to meet your true love and they don't want you to. But they, they don't have any power over you anymore. Like you've already. Well, see, some of you need to cut them out. That's the thing. If you, you need to cut and clear them like and, and if you go back, I do a cut and clear spell. Um, I think I did it like maybe a month or less ago. But just scroll back through my videos and you'll find it. Just just do that along with me if you're ready for that. But but no, this person is they're weak. They're, they don't have any power over you unless you give them power, you know. But this new love, oh my gosh, true love, potential life partner, it's sexual, lots of sexual energy. They're going to take their time with you, I feel like. Your exes probably didn't, but this person is. Um, yeah, this is a very, this is a good relationship. It's, it's going to be challenging, but not in a toxic way. Like I said, it's going to be challenging in the sense that they're going to just admire you and love you and almost put you on this pedestal, and they're going to want they're going to be devoted to you to like they're going to be devoted to you being the person you want to be and to you doing the things that you want to do you know what I mean like this is almost like a this could be like a gym coach or something like a like a fitness trainer or like military or something like that because they're almost like like they're going to push you you know like I was saying like you tell them you want to start a new career or a new a new job they're like okay let's do it like let's go to the gym let's do it let's let's they're going to want you to love yourself as much as they love you. Um, so, yeah, it's a really beautiful spread. I hope this resonates for you guys. And like I said, if you want a private reading, just email me. Bye.